blues is a form of music that started in the United States during the start of the 20th century. It was started by former African slaves from spiritual praise songs and chants. The first blues songs were called Delta Blues. Blues is music that gives you the walk of life that would take you through a journey of time. The Denton Black Chamber of Commerce hosts the Denton Blues Festival every year. They have hosted since 1998, highlighting local and national blues artists. On this episode of The High Life, we will speak with Mr. John Baines and discuss the 2020 Denton Virtual Blues Festival and events of the Denton Black Chamber of Commerce. It goes lights, camera action when I step into the limelight, easily adapted to the high life. Dressed to impress like it's prom night. And when you live in top shelf, you know you gotta set the bar high. Had the same dreams as we was kids. Big gyms, big cars, and even bigger cribs. Never thought that it would happen just the way it did. Fast forward that now, it's just the way we live. That's good food and drinks, my mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. The room starts to shake, so smooth if you blink, you might just miss the whole thing. It's just a different way to move in the high. Hello everyone and welcome to the episode of The High Life. On The High Life we discuss many aspects of life. We talk to various different people in life. Uh, we learn about what they did to succeed. We learn about what they're doing now. We learn about uh, how they can help other people succeed. And today I have the privilege of speaking with a CPA. And we all need a CPA every now and then, but today he's not really gonna talk a lot about the CPA because he has a special event that we really want to talk about. On today's show, we have Mr. John Bain. Sir, how are you doing today? Kenneth, I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing just fantastic. It's great to have you on the show. Uh, I think what we want to start with today is, can you tell the audience a little bit about yourself? How did you get involved in being a CPA? Well, uh, I was working for the largest law firm in the world at the time, in Houston, Texas, and I got disenchanted with law. One of the attorneys told me, he said, John, uh, you might try taxes. I tried taxes and I liked it. And so uh, being a CPA was kind of a, a second life for me, something that I backed into. And I've been doing it now since 1975. So being a CPA and working in law, you, you're still working with books. You're still working with numbers. Can you let people know, one, I'm not saying it's easy, but how was it to transfer from one career to another? It was a little difficult, but I was real fortunate, Kenneth, that growing up uh, in my high school, we emphasized math and science. And so I did really well. And then law is simply kind of analytical. It's very analytical. And so it's kind of on that same side of the brain. And uh, so for me, it was OK, uh, you know, uh, just enjoying doing this career. And it's been good for me and my family these many years. Can you tell us a little bit about your firm, where your firm's located, and maybe if, if there are a couple of people that are still looking for a CPA or, or maybe just tax during the year, uh, tell them a little bit where your firm located and maybe what you offer. My, my firm is at uh, 600 South Elm Street, Denton, Texas, 76201, right near the square. We've been here since 1986. We offer taxes, consulting, payroll, bookkeeping, and just a good conversation if you need something. Good conversation. So that kind of leads us to the next topic then. You are, uh, you are a member of the Ditton Black Chamber. Tell us a little bit about the chamber. What do you do for the chamber? What, what is the chamber looking for? In 1995, there were a group of black business owners who were meeting at Raymond Redmond's barbershop in Southeast Denton. And they felt that the big chamber was not really meeting their needs and they wanted to start a chamber. Mm. And at that time I had been uh, on the board of directors for the big chamber for six years and I was just coming off and so they asked me to be the chairman. And so uh, I chaired the chamber for about seven years and then I've been in an assistant role as a treasurer and, and an assistant uh, since basically 2003. And what the chamber does is we mainly try to operate as a, 
as a union, a trade union for black business owners where we get together and develop leverage. We, we develop a, a voice and we look for opportunities to improve ourselves in the community. Uh, it's one thing just to make money. It's another thing to improve the community where you live. And so we're involved in both ends. We want, to, we want that green and we want other people to have some green too. If I wanted to become a chamber member, uh, what is the process? Uh, go to our website, uh, Denton Black Chamber online, and we'd love to have you. In fact, the chamber is in need of new members. Uh, we're in need of a, a email list, and we're also in need of sponsors. So anything you can do to help us make a difference in our community, we welcome you to come. So someone like myself that has a, a, a small business, you have room for me is that correct sir i got a li i got a, i got an application right here just waiting for you it's in my pocket <laughs> so how long is the process to either become a member or a sponsor well we we just get you the information and you sign up make a payment and we're on the way there will be an orientation for you telling you some of the things that we like to do and uh, where you can possibly fit in an, an area of interest and then we send you on your way along with some people that are basically doing what you want to do. Now this probably brings us to one of, you, one of your favorite topics, the Blues Festival. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, John, before we get into it, I'm just going to play a little tab from one of the previous Blues Festivals, <laughs> if you don't mind, so that people can see some of the artists that have appeared in those Blues Festivals. Let's just give a look real quick. Oh, that will be awesome. That will be awesome. <laughs> Tell us about the Blues Festival uh, this year. What well, let me let me tell you about where we came from and then how we got to this year. Very good. We were looking for a a project or something that would kind of give us a banner event. In the springtime, our banner event is our annual banquet. In the fall, we were looking for a banner event, and we came up initially with a jazz festival. But there's already a jazz festival in town, so we didn't want to compete with that. And we checked around with some folks, and there seemed to be an interest in the blues. So we started the Blues Festival in 1998, and we've been running with it ever since. So, so tell us about a little bit about this year. I know with COVID-19, uh, you probably had to alter it a little bit, but tell us what you got planned for the folks this year. Well, we call this a placeholder for your heart. The um, wait, we, minute, John, wait, whoa, <laughs> a placeholder for your heart. You, you, you know something? <laughs> I bet you got a promo you like people to see with that, don't you? <laughs> you I, know, kid, you hit me right on the head. That was it. We have a, we have a, we have a promo that's called a placeholder for your heart. So, kid, how about you play that right this, now? This, <laughs> Greetings, Denton Blues Festival attendees and supporters. We will not have a blues festival in the park this year, but rather than make you wait until 2021, we have a placeholder for your heart, the 2020 Virtual Blues Festival. Join us Saturday, October the 24th for this festival shown on DentonBluesFestival.org. Karaoke starts at 10. I'm told out. Blue starts at noon. Made possible by the City of Denton, Classic Auto, and the Denton Black Chamber of Commerce. The Virtual Denton Blues Festival. Well, you know, people look forward to the Blues Festival. And so this year, like a lot of outdoor festivals, we had to be a little more creative and, and figure out what we can do and what we can't do. And so rather than cause people any angst and any concern and trying to be responsible citizens, we said this year we're going to do a virtual Blues Festival. 
And so what that meant was we had to spend some time figuring out what that meant. And we had nine great years of archives of festival film, um, film history. And so we went in and we contracted with uh, ID Productions, one of the premier production companies in the Metroplex, to help us put together uh, this uh, virtual blues festival. And uh, the folks at ID uh, have done a great job. Kenneth, do you happen to know those folks? In 2011, we have Shamika Copeland, Chris Watson, Zach Harmon, and Buddy Bobby Patterson. 2012, Bernard Allison, Curtis Salgado, Buddy Whittington, Sugar Blue. Well, I was just going to jump over to uh, 2018 and 2019. We have uh, Muddy Waters boys. Big Bill Morganfield is, is Muddy Waters' oldest boy, and then he also had a younger boy on there. They call it the Muddy Waters Review. Carolyn Wonderland, uh, Amika Chambers, and then we had a, a group out of New Orleans called Dwayne Dupsey and the Zydeco Hellraisers. You know, they, they, uh, they're ready to come back to Denton, and Denton is ready for them to come back. And then we also had uh, Fingerprints, and we had Zora Young, and we had Sugar Ray Rayford. You know, we're always looking for that next group of talent that, that you know, a lot of the older ones have gone on now. They passed over. And so it's up to us to find the next group of talent, and we're always on the outlook. And I think everybody will get a good taste of what we've had over the last nine years and what you can look forward to in the coming years. But next year, the place for the heart, you will probably start looking for acts pretty soon or at least coming up and you take a rest. Maybe mention to people how they can uh, get in contact with you if they are not only interested in becoming a member of the chamber, but maybe they have an act or they know of an act. Well, actually, what you can do is you can reach us at our at our website, uh, Denton Blues, excuse me, Denton Black Chamber Online dot, or you can reach us at area code 940-565-9015 9015 if you have an inquiry about a band or if you yourself are interested in performing. Probably in March, no later than April of 2021, the selection committee will begin to look for the acts for the September 2021 festival. And so we will probably have an idea by that time if we're going to do another virtual festival or if we'll be live in the park. But Mr. and Lisa LaSalle was one of the one of the divas, one of the how would you say one of the people associated with that down home blues uh -huh, uh -huh. and uh, you know even though she was a little older on this presentation still you could feel you could feel the blues coming out of her it was oozing out of her skin Miss mm -hmm. Denise LaSalle what a wonderful lady Wonder, what a wonderful lady to work with in the past we always waited for people to come and sign up mm -hmm. we decided to go out and ask people to come so and we is, did is that why i saw you <laughs> singing out on, on that well you know I, I you know i'm kind of one of those shade tree singers i used to have a group back in the day and we used to compete with a with a guy named archie bell and the drills you mm. might not be old enough to know archie Don't be <laughs> <laughs> but see archie was five or six years older uh -huh. than us and they always won the, the contest i wonder why they won because they were five <laughs> or six years older or was there some money changing hands what was going on there <laughs> But, but eventually, I'm just a, a singer who's now relegated to being an MC for the Blues Festival. But I'm having fun still. But, but with, the, with the karaoke show, what we decided to do was to go and invite all the banks. Mm -hmm. And say, okay, banks, let's see what you got. Who, 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 who can sing at your bank? And then we went to the beer companies and said, okay, beer companies, let's see what you got. And then we went all over the city and to various uh, nonprofits. You say, okay, nonprofits, what you got? And then we had the police pit it up against the fire department and no. say, what you got? <laughs> and so out of that energy came a wonderful festival with some, with some real fun. I think you'll enjoy seeing some of the events that uh, were there. And we had one of the uh, city councilmen singing 
uh, little shark song about a baby shark. I never heard that song before. <laughs> but but all of us were at the end of the show. We were singing baby shark, daddy shark, mama shark, grandpa shark. So I think you'll have a good time with the with the with the uh, karaoke show as well. So the karaoke starts at 10 a.m. Yes, October the 24th. That's correct. And then it's going to lead into the blues festival, which starts at noon. This is Central Time, everybody. Cause uh, uh, so 10 a.m. Central for the karaoke and then leads into the Blues Festival at, at 12 noon. And then from 12 noon, we, we start at 2011 and we go all the way down to 2019. Wonderful. Well, I would simply like to say, if you think you're gonna have a good time, please forward that information to a friend or a family member and say, please join us for the, for the virtual 2020 Denton Blues Festival. We'd like to see your face in the place. Thank you. John, it's been a pleasure speaking to you about this event. Uh, again, ID Production was very happy to be a part of this. Uh, and w we're going to be watching. <laughs> and, and I know family members are going to be watching. And so if everyone loved the blues, and as I, when I met John and we were discussing this, I explained to him how my mother played the blues. And that's how I began to learn the blues. He would probably be supplies of the Bobby Blue Bland, the B.B. King, the Johnny Taylor. Oh, God, I could go on. ZZ Hill, you didn't mention Oh, him. ZZ Hill, miss, yes, 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 all. yes. That was yes, a Saturday yes. morning event at my mother's house at that, that I had to endure. But as you grow up, you learn that it's a lesson in the blues. Yes. Uh, really, in a way, the blues teach you about life. And this event on October the 24th, and just one more time, tell them where they can see this event at. You can see it at DentonBluesFestival.org. It's on your website, DentonBluesFestival.org, on your website. It's going to be Saturday, October the 24th, and we look forward to having your face in the place. Again, John, thank you very much. I wish you and the uh, organization great success. We're going to end the show, everybody, by going out, letting you listen to and looking at one of the acts that you will see for the highlight. This is Kenneth Boyd with Mr. John Bang. You have a very golden touch, a very golden highlight. See you next time. Yeah.